What do you say when people think you're crazy for coming here? I'm having a good time, dude. I'm vaxxed, waxed, and ready to go. Just be safe and don't do anything stupid. And be your, gay, do crimes. Be gay, do crimes, you'll be fine. Finally, words that this country can unite around. My mother would say this, never stop moving. If you stop moving, they'll throw dirt on you. Never stop moving. <laughs>
in the same space, even if it's socially distant, even if it's with masks. The fact that we are in a room together or in a space together as humans is a very important thing. I got to lead Rain Wilson into my drum kit and be like, hey, this is where you sit down. And that was crazy. Creation Entertainment, you certainly, you boldly went this year in creating a safe space where I did not feel unsafe. We're safe. Here we go. Everybody join me in a house freaking right. welcome. Take two. For William Shatner! I definitely was concerned about uh, COVID and the new Delta variant, and I, of course I got fully vaccinated as soon as I could. That said, it was my father's 100th anniversary um, this year, and uh, you know, Star Trek, for those of you who get it, uh, which I think most of you do, uh, it, it really means something important. It meant something in the 60s, and it means something 55 years later, basically. Uh, uh, today. And, and that's why people are here. People are here because they, they don't love Star Trek because it's a fun sci-fi show. They love it because it talks about a, a beautiful future where humanity no longer fears the difference and change between us. They, we crave it. We love it. We're off in the galaxy finding aliens who look and think about the universe in a different way. And so it, it's, it's important to come to a show like this, at least for me, and I think for many of the people here, because we still believe in that future. And we want to do everything we can to try to make it happen and continue to inspire others. So there are risks by all means, um, but uh, it's just important that people uh, who love Star Trek are able to share their views of the world together. Um, I mean, we're all a little bit crazy. We're Star Trek fans. But I think the beauty behind this is that most of us have been coming to this thing so often and for many, many years that it's kind of like a family reunion. And at the end of the day, it was safe. Everyone wore a mask. Um, everything was really nice and spread out. It wasn't too crowded because I think a lot of people were hesitant to come at the end. You know, it kind of made it even more special. I don't think there was ever a time where I felt uncomfortable or unsafe. I was really affected by seeing uh, seniors who were most at risk. I saw people in their 70s and 80s with masks on and, and these people needed to be given something to feel good about. I believe that's why the Roddenberries came. When I saw that, I felt we were there for, for them. We were here to give them something, a smile, a fucking smile. Like everybody needed that break. Everybody needed to get back together. And it was, it was really nice to see everybody again. It was nice to get to spend time with everybody. I need that positivity in my life. And I need that hope in the people that embody that hope around me. I had a great time. I think people did a good job. I was able to see my friends and it was, I needed this, we needed this, we, we all needed this. With Roddenberry's entire philosophy of just life and togetherness and equality and just our hopefulness of what we can be as humans, this was something that was extremely rewarding and something that I wouldn't trade for the world. I start Our Star Trek way. Go along our Star Trek way. Go along our Star Trek way. See you, Trekkers.